So to start things off, I just want to give a big thank you to EA for sponsoring and providing our first eight theme teams on a side account for our theme team series. For those of you who don't know, last year we did a theme team series where we used all 32 NFL teams and then proceeded to rank them based on how they played. And I'm excited to do it again this year. I hope you all are too. And for today's video, we're going to be using the Kansas City Chiefs, who I'm very excited about. Very fun team. But before we get into the video, we do have to go over our joke of the day. And here it is right here. I'm going to read it to you. What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing. It just waved. That one was great. That one was great. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to get your corny jokes in if you want to be entered. And let's keep it classy. Let's jump into the video. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be doing the Kansas City Chiefs theme team for our ninth video. But before we get into that, before we get over to the lineup, I did want to update you on the rankings here. We did put the Falcons at number one they were awesome we had to do it they played great if you want to check out that video it'll be in the top right hand corner again i'm not sure which one but in one of these corners it should be there for you i, I recommend checking them out they played very very well both on next gen and on current gen they were awesome but enough about the falcons this video is about the chiefs let's jump over to the lineup so kind of like we did with the falcons we're actually going to be using two qbs in this video patrick Mahomes will be playing on the next gen and then joe montana will be playing on current gen we have Le'Veon Bell. This, this Chiefs lineup is actually very, very solid across the board. We have everything that we want with the team. We can get almost every ability that we would want with the team. Very, very solid O-line. So we'll look at the abilities here for offense. Again, these will change slightly when we go to current gen. We're going to start with next gen. We have backfield master on Le'Veon Bell. Tyree Kill with slot apprentice and playmaker. Dante Hall, we, we're just using double me. Tony Gonzalez, we have tight end apprentice. And then Patrick Mahomes, we're using gunslinger. Now, when we change the current gen, we will have hot route master. So we can change it a little bit. We won't need the slot apprentice. We won't need backfield master. We won't need tight end apprentice. So we'll be able to change a little bit. And we'll go over those abilities once we get to the current gen game. I try to show them on both sides of the ball. But we will be using secure protectors on current gen. I just wanted to note that. And to jump over here to the defense. Again, not very many. Like, we have everything we want with this team, really. Uh, DBs, linebackers. Uh, pass rushers and d-line in general stopping the run i feel like they have everything that you would want with a theme team so very very excited about it jump over here to the defensive abilities and again these will change slightly as we go over to the current gen but i, I use a lot of mid-zone chaos and acrobats uh, mid-zone chaos and acrobats on both generations uh, the only thing that's really going to change is we won't be using any inside stuff so we have inside stuff on chris jones we have inside stuff on frank clark we won't be using those on current gen we'll just likely add more mid-zone chaos and acrobats but again i'm going to show you the exact abilities on that side of the ball once we jump into the current gen game so you can see where we added those mid zone ko's and where we added those acrobats i feel like that's the best way to play defense right now just because without uh the one step aheads you can't have four you can't even have three one step aheads anymore you can only have two max because of the ap change so i feel like those mid zone ko's and those acrobats can make a lot of plays for you but that's just my recommendation we're still in the raiders offense we're still in the four six defense neither of those have changed that is it for the team let's jump into the game all right here we go with game one just a reminder this one's gonna be on next gen we're also gonna be playing on current gen in this video here we go and we're gonna be starting this one on offense very excited about this chiefs offense it's really similar to their real life team that wasn't my best read that wasn't my best read they're very similar to the real life team where they can just they have so many different players that can make plays for you a lot of different ways to score and i'm excited to use this team today we got tyreek we got tyreek let's go tyreek let's go baby let's go baby I, anytime you get the ball to tyreek hill in space that's what you want to do. Really, any of these Chiefs players in space can really go out there and make a play for you, right? Le'Veon Bell, Dante Hall, Tony, Tony G even. Tony, I think Tony Gonzalez with this Chiefs theme team gets up to 97 speed. Almost anyone out there, pretty much everyone out there can make a play. We're looking for Sammy Watkins right here going across the middle of the field. See if we're going to have it. Sammy, Sammy Watkins, Sammy Watkins, let's go. We're looking for Tony G outside here if we can get it. We can't, but we have Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell in the receiving game. We're inside the five. Oh, we tried to run on first down. Didn't go too well for us. You didn't, I didn't show it to you, but we lost a couple yards. We're gonna try to run again. Oh, they have inside stuff. I didn't double team. How did I, I didn't notice that on the first play either. They have inside stuff. We need to double team there. I much rather prefer to run the ball in the red zone because it gets tough to pass. But third and goal from the eight is gonna be tough here to score. But Tony G. Tony D, let's go! They're coming out on this single back deuce close. You can run the ball and pass out of this. Oh, I actually thought they had a touchdown. 
I thought that they had a touchdown. If that was a streak or like a fade, that could have been a touchdown. Nice laser right there. Ended up being a skinny pose. I thought it was going to be a fade though. I play a little bit of coverage right here. We have a spy from Mahomes. Dot. Nice knockout. I have to watch that scene this time. We have man coverage on it. Lurking with Barry. Oh no. We didn't send any zone drops. That was a, that's a laser. We didn't send any dro zone drops to our outside thirds match right there we don't want that we want them to just drop straight back without pressing we need to set our zone drops our zone drops are set that shouldn't happen anymore but it's too late for this drive right nice qb draw call was not expecting that great answer for them we have to try to answer back now we're not on a hash here so we're gonna run the ball we made sure to double team the inside stuff at dt right there it looks like they might have another inside stuff out there as well Le'Veon, 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 Le'Veon bell and we're gonna go Yes, Le'Veon Bell. We were able to get an answer back with this Chiefs theme team. Now we have to try to get a stop. We have to get, try to get a stop on this drive. I'm watching the middle. Barry, Barry, Eric Barry made up so much ground right there. Eric Barry. Wow, I did not think we had any chance of getting to that route right there. We're able to do it. Eric Barry makes the play. We might have Watkins going deep right here. We might. Oh, we were, ah, uh, uh, you know, I was gonna say we were gonna have it, but after that cut, I don't think we did. I think we're gonna have Tony Gonzalez, though. I think we're gonna have Tony over the top. I'm lobbing it. No, 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 no. I don't know if it was not gonna be open whatsoever. We threw it too early or what, but that was not open. Well, so much for our stop. They get a stop right back and they're up near midfield. I actually thought we had a chance at that. I don't know why I thought we had a chance at that because we weren't even close. And now they're on a drive. Big third down right here. We have a chance to get a stop. Send our spy. Yes! Yes! And, we're for, and before they're able to get the throw off, Chris Jones gets a sack. This is a fourth and 11. If they go, okay, they're going to kick. They're going to kick. I was going to say, if they go for it here, this is the biggest play of the game. Let's see if they can make this. It's going to be a 58 yarder. I probably should have called timeout, but I'm not going to call it now. We already wasted 20 seconds. Let's see if they can make this. Oh, and it's good. Just barely. Great kick. I believe this is man coverage right here. We're looking for Tyreek Hill on the outside. Tyreek. 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 Let's go, baby. Tyreek. Yes, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. I said it early on in this one. I believe you just want to get Tyreek Hill the ball in space. Allow him to make a play. Watching the middle of the field right here. Bouncing back. Oh, I, I don't know what it is about me. I don't know what it is. I literally think the quarterback is throwing at me every single time. I feel like 99.9% .9 of the time, they're throwing the wide open route. They are not throwing at my user. But I get excited. Regardless of that, I always get excited thinking they're throwing me the ball. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, my lurk's got to be there. My lurk's got to be there. My lurk has to be there. We need our adjustments in. We need our adjustments in. Dot again. Dot again. We got to get our adjustments in. Nice stick work right there. Nice stick work right there. Laser, laser. I thought we could get back to it, but we could not. This has been this has been very high scoring. A lot of quick scores from both from both teams. Nice play there again. We have 26 seconds. We have a timeout. The way this game is going, we have time here to at least maybe get a field goal. We don't have to get out of bounds here. We just need to complete a pass. And that's it to Tony G. That is it. I'd say we need about 15 yards here for field goal range. We're going to Dante Hall. No, we're not going to get out of bounds. We're not going to get out of bounds. Dante! Dante Hall! Dante Hall! We had no chance of getting out of bounds right there if Dante Hall doesn't break that tackle. And that is a huge play. Let's see if we're in field goal range right here. And we barely are. We barely are. What a play from Dante Hall. We were going to have to try to spike. But on top of getting out of bounds, Hall also picked up like five extra yards to get us in to this field goal range. So awesome play right there. We have to try to make this kick. A little bit to the right here, a little bit, the accuracy is a little bit to the right. Let's see if we made it. And we got it. Let's go. Huge play from Dante Hall. Great kick from Morton Anderson. This is the biggest drive of the game so far to start, to start the second half. Barry! No, I'm not even close to it. We got to get there with Barry. I got to be better with my user, but this is the biggest drive of the game so far because here's the deal. If they score, they can tie the game up. Even if they get a field goal, it's going to be a one possession game. But if we can get a stop, we have a chance to go up two possessions. So we need this stop right here. Got to watch the middle of the field right here. Anything going deep. It's third and 15. This is our chance to get off the field. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Fourth down and what? Fourth down and eight. This is the biggest play of the game so far. <laughs> biggest play of the game so far. And I love it. Let's see if we can get this stop. Send our flat. Let's send our flat. 
Oops. Oh, Kent! Kent! All right, that's a great play from them, right? Perfect timing on the playmaker up in the pass. But we're still in position right there to make the tackle, and I completely whiff on it. That's on me. That is on me. They have to make the play. They made a great play, but I need to make that tackle. That is my fault. Oh, that is such that is such a huge play from them right there, keeping that drive alive. And in our zone. Ooh, I, th I thought that they were throwing at me again. They weren't even doing a throwing motion. Why do I always think that? We're sending pressure right here. We're going to send pressure right here. I feel like we haven't sent a ton of pressure today. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Revis. Revis. Revis with a broken tackle now. Yes, this is the play of the game from Darrell Revis. And we're able to get the two. Well, Tyreek Hill's. Tyreek Hill. Okay. Tyreek Hill was running so fast. We're able to get the two possession lead. What a play from Darrell Revis. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. All right. Here we go with game two. Just a reminder, this one's on current gen. Here we go. Once again here, we're going to be starting on offense. I feel like I accidentally have my setting set to receive. Tony G, nice catch. That was a little scary. I feel like I have my setting set to receive by accident because I've been receiving a lot. But nonetheless, we're going to be starting on offense for this one. And I just want to quickly show you the abilities here because, again, we, we did switch them a little bit from the last game. So we still have Playmaker on Tyreek Hill. We have those two secure protectors. And then we have mid in the lead on Tony Gonzalez. We weren't able to fit. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this playoff. Sorry. Got to call timeout. We weren't able to get matchup nightmare with the with the AP that we had. We only have one AP left. So I figured, you know what? We throw some posts a good amount of the time to our tight end. Maybe we'll just put mid in the lead. We also were able to drop any of our apprentices, slot apprentice out. Uh, oh, not outside. Oh, it. <laughs> no. 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 That's not what we wanted. No. That is my bad. I just was going to tell you all that. We dropped our tight end apprentice, slot apprentice, and backfield master. I ended up saying outside apprentice. I was thrown off a little bit. We made a bad read. We got to try to get a stop. But coming out of this bunch tight end, oh, I was going to say, we're going to send a lot of pressure against this. If they come out of the bunch tight end again, I like to send a heavy pressure at least early on against bunch tight end because I'm expecting that PA play where they're going to max pro with the delay fade. And I just feel like you can get pressure before they can throw any of the routes on the field. So if they come out of that again, we're sending heavy pressure. And they're back in the bunch tight end. So we're sending heavy pressure right here. And that's what I was talking about. When you run that play, it's a great play. It's one of the best plays in the game. But I feel like it's really, really tough to be able to throw the throw any routes when you send pressure like that. So that's why I like to send pressure. And I'm not going to do it this time. I fell down. Oh, no. Laser. Definite laser. Definite laser. No. I tripped on my spy. Not quite the start we were looking for. To start this game off nice tackle right there not not quite the start that we were looking for right we don't want to be turning the ball over on our very first drive we don't want to give up big dots like that when we're tripping and falling on the ground that's not something you want to do but this is a third down here we have a chance to hold the three potentially here so let's see if we can get this stop bounce back barry barry eric barry can we get some blocks no i fell out again that is cool we'll take the interception it's always a little scary when you're down near the end zone you have the post though Tony G again, huge, huge play there from Tony G to get away from that end zone. We don't want to take a safety right here. We're going to get the ball out quick here. The make her up. No, Kent, stop throwing to the other team. Stop it. Stop it right now. You stop throwing to the other team. This game has not gone according to plan. This game has not gone according to plan. All right, first quarter is likely coming to an end right here. Let's just put that. Oh, it, well, it might not be. It might not be. Let's see if we can set up a play here. All right. First quarter, let's just put that first quarter behind us, right? Put it away. We turned the ball over twice. Let's try to get a stop right here. And let's try to actually put together a drive next time. We're sending heavy pressure. We're sending heavy pressure. Eric Berry! Eric Berry! Yes! Okay. Ten. Now, let's try throwing to our team. Not their team, to our team. We got to find some open receivers. We have to find... Some open receivers. There we go. There we go. There's an open receiver. There's an open receiver. We might have Dante Hall outside. We might. We might have Dante Hall outside. Dante Hall! Dante Hall! That is exactly what we need. I got really scared there. When I saw their DB jump for it, I'm sorry for bumping my mic. You might have heard a little. You might have, You might not have heard a little bump there, but if you did, I'm sorry. When I saw them jump for it, I thought, oh no, they're going to pick this off. Great play from Dante Hall. Great throw from Joe Montana. We're sending heavy pressure again. We're sending the heavy pressure again. I love sending heavy pressure at bunch tight end because of that play. That play is so good. It's so effective that when you mix in that pressure, 
it's, it makes it really difficult for them to get the pass off. So that's why I like to mix it in. Not every time, because then they can start sending out some short routes, picking up big games with getting the, the ball in space. But whenever we can, I try to send that pressure against it. And that's why, because that play is so good. I'm watching the crossing route. That delay fade is so good. We're sending pressure again. I do not want to continue to give that up. We're sending the pressure again. And hopefully, hopefully that's the play they run, right? Hopefully it is. It is. Let's go. We're sending that pressure again. We are sending that pressure again. I want to continue to do it until they owe oh, Eric Berry. Eric Berry is having the best game I think I've ever had with a defensive player. Eric Berry has been amazing. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game three. All right. Here we go with game three. This is going to be the last one for the video. Here we go and we're going to be starting this one on offense too which is cool i will note we actually were set to receive in all the previous games i had felt like even going back to previous videos we had received maybe five or six games in a row just make it up a number but i felt like it had been a lot right but i did check it we were set to receive we're set to kick now but we did receive in this one so we're gonna be starting on oh and with that being said we did not play our best offensive game last time around they played some great defense uh-oh 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 not to start the one not the, not the start that you want at all they played some great defense last game, but we kind of added to that by not making great reads. We need to throw the ball to our own wide receivers. We need to avoid mistakes, and we have to try to do a better job this time around. I hope they send that pressure again, though, because we did have our table route outside, and if, we, and if they use her that, then we should have the post. So if they send that pressure again, that's what we're looking for. They didn't send the pressure this time. They make her back. Let's go Tyreek Hill. And speaking of playmaker, we actually need to utilize that playmaker, I feel like. I don't think I did it much at all in the last game or even on the next gen game and we're using six ap on that if you're gonna use six ap on something i feel like you probably should be using it right you don't want to be wasting ap at all they're gonna send pressure right here i think we're ready to make this read or, nope 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 not pressure not pressure not, not pressure playmaker back tyree kill getting back to what i was saying though after we throw this wheel route and whoo that was close what i was saying though was you don't want to be using six ap on something that you're not using right because you could be you could use that for different things if you don't have pass blocking abilities you could go get some pass blocking abilities with that playmaker you could maybe get like the pass catching abilities like mid in elite uh or mid out elite or you could add a route tech there's a lot of different things that you could do you don't want to just be using a uh, playmaker to use it if you're not going to use it there's definitely other things that you could use so there's something i wanted to note and Tyreek Hill's been, speaking of playmaker, Tyreek Hill with playmaker has been pretty much our only offense this game. We're going back to slander post right here. We're going back. To, no, we're going to take the table out, table out, table out. Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell. And finally, we don't throw a playmaker. I'm loving slander post right now. I am loving slander post. They sent the blitz. Ooh, we probably have post for probably a touchdown right there. I want to go back to that. Check that. I actually don't think they're sending the heavy pressure this time. So we're not going to a pass lead. There we go. Pass lead to the sidelines. That's that feed elite for Joe Montana right there. We don't have Gunslinger. So when you want to throw a pass that could be a little bit tighter, you want to make sure you're pass leading it so you can get that lower trajectory and be able to fit that pass in. It could be sending pressure this time. They don't. Oh, pass. Tony G. Woo, that was a little bit scary. I don't know why. I felt like that zone could have made a play on that. A little bit scary. I hope they're not sending pressure here. I hope they're not. If they're not, we might have... The running back open for a touchdown. Le'Veon, Le'Veon, yes, let's go. We're audible it over to this bunch tight end to start this game off. And we're going to send pressure again. We are going to send the pressure again. Okay, they ran the ball. They ran the ball. That's cool. If they go to that bunch tight end again, we're going to send that pressure like we were doing in the last game. They audible it over again. We're sending pressure. We are sending pressure. Nice read. We got to lurk the running back. I, ooh, ooh, that was nice. That was a nice move right there. If the running back goes out and we're sending pressure like that, we have to get out there. But if they're going to send out five like that, we probably won't send as much pressure next time. We're going to try it one more time. This time we did send the pressure and we were able to get home. I like to send that pressure against Bunch Titan until they run that play just to try to get ahead on the six. We'll take the sack. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. We gotta, oh, Eric Berry. Eric Berry. Eric Berry. Oh, that's a dot. I thought we, I don't know what happened there. I thought we picked it for a second. I thought we swatted it. Laser, we weren't able to get there with Eric Berry. Eric Berry's made so many plays in that first game. I just figured we were going to make it again, but hey, that's cool. Oh no, we didn't get our adjustments in. We didn't get our adjustments in. Oh, Dante Robinson. Dante Robinson didn't need any adjustments. Great play. Huge play right there by Dante Robinson. That was such a big play because if they scored right there, they literally are right back into this game. Well, they're in the game regardless, right? But if they take the lead, if they tie the game there or even get points, they're going to be in a great spot because it's their ball at halftime. If they send pressure right here, I really hope that we can pick this up. We did. Can we make the throw on the run though? No, we, I had to try it there. I had to try it on the run because we did not have time to set our feet. 
So I just tried it with Joe Montana. We weren't able to get it. Maybe if I lobbed it, that might have been better. But you know what? I don't, I'm not mad at it because we, we couldn't afford to take a sack right there. So we had to just try something. And it was there. So if it's there again, we'll try it again. We just have to try to make sure we're picking up this pressure if they send it. If not, we should have something open with our playmaker. Great user. But Dante. Dante Hall. Dante Hall. No. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had our right, fourth and 10. 55 seconds left. I feel like the, the punt's the play here. The punt is the play. We don't want to give them an easy, just already in field goal range uh, drive. So let's try to make them work here before the end of the half. If they end up getting a field goal, great job from them. But we want to make them have to throw for it. We don't want to just give it to them right there in our territory. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got stuck. I got stuck. No. I, I was not trying to go through the gap like that. I was just trying to hover around the line. And I ended up running right through at that point. We probably should have just tried to sack them. Well, so much for not giving up a field goal. They are already in field goal range. We're going to try to send pressure here. Maybe force them into a mistake. Or maybe knock them out of field goal range with a long sack. But either way, they drove right down the field. So maybe we should have gone for it. But, he, but we're going to try something here. Oh, Kit was, I was there. Oh, wow, what stick worked. All right, they made some plays with their stick work in this one. They're tying the game up. We had a chance right there. To be in a great spot in this game instead tie game their ball at half we have to try to get something with this 30 seconds ideally here we can throw dante hall that's what we're mainly looking for now we're gonna take the playmaker we'll take the player we have our timeouts we can stay in bounds we just have to try to pick up some yards we only are about 20 yards away from field goal range with this timeout we have a chance here if we can get this corner out to the outside we're gonna be in such a good spot we're looking for sammy watkins we have it sammy toe tap yes and out of bounds we still have our timeout we have a chance at seven we're looking for kelsey over the top Oh, we don't have it, but Le'Veon, Le'Veon. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we needed right there. Let's go. Uh oh, we didn't get our adjustments in. We didn't get our adjustments in. This is a big drive coming out of halftime. Watching back for this delay fade. Dante, oh, oh, I was gonna say Dante Robinson. That that was Revis, but oh, that's a nice play. This is a huge drive coming out of halftime. This is a huge drive because if we can get a stop, if we can get a stop somehow, we'll be in such a good spot. But if we don't get a stop, they're right back in this game. Eric Berry. We had a chance with Eric Berry again. I didn't make the play. This is the biggest play of the game so far. We have a third down. We're able to get a tackle. They're likely going to go for it here. They're likely going to go for it. Now we have another biggest play of the game. We, those third and 10 was the biggest play of the game. Now fourth and five is the biggest play of the game. Okay, they're going to take their three. They're going to take their three. That's cool. I am perfectly cool with that. Now we have a chance. We'll have the ball. If we can get a touchdown, we'll be going up two possessions. So let's just see if we can do it. Let's see if we can avoid making any mistakes and try to get a seven. We might have Tony G outside. We might have Tony G. We don't. Oh, I play maker the wrong way. I play maker the wrong way. I play maker the wrong way, and we need to throw the ball away right there. You do not want to take a seven yard sack. Just throw the ball away and go to third and eight. I really hope they send pressure right here. I really hope. Nah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Oh, touchdown, Sammy Watkins. That was not the, the most intended read going into that play. Not a touchdown, but that was not the read, the main read going into this play. That was maybe our third or fourth read or no read, but hey. We will definitely take it. Gonna run the ball here to see if we can get in. We double team the inside stuff. They came right through. This is the same play we ran in the first half with this option around and this slant, whichever way they don't use her. Oh, that was a scary low pass. You, I'll show you back here. Their user jumped for it. And I thought for a second they might have picked that off. Let's go, Le'Veon Bell. We're sending pressure right here early on in this drive. We're gonna try to maybe force a mistake because we can get a stop right here. We have a great chance to win the game. And if they get a score, then they're still right there. So this is definitely anyone's ball game still. But if we can get a stop, we'll be in a great spot. This is our chance for the stop. We have a third down and 10. Oh, and Sneed! Sneed, what a play! I wasn't sure if we were going to get there. What a play. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. Great games to all of our opponents in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your corny jokes in if you wanted to enter in that. And also, please remember to like, comment, subscribe only if you want to. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. I don't know where the Chiefs team is going to be ranked, but that team played very, very good. I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>